What is up, YouTube? It's Kuna Below here coming at you with another exciting video. Okay, so building on my last video of how I basically prevent the wood from splitting, this is the rough side of the wood. What I've done is I've gone ahead and left the handles on. If you notice, it's not really handles, but these are the parts of the shelf that are actually going to hold up the shelf. The idea here is that these two these two screws go into the wall, and then basically on the bottom I've got two more screws that are drilled into this piece. So when I flip this thing over, the finished side will be nice and finished and whatever. Anyways, why did I do that? Why didn't I just cut into like the plank of wood? The reason why I put these pieces on, right, the supports, the two little horizontal or vertical order, vertical supports for the wood, is because now I have a handle. See, I can grab onto this, and as I saw, I can go ahead and saw, as opposed to just sawing into a piece of wood. If I had a workbench, I would clamp this thing down and do it that way. If I had a table saw, I would do it that way. If I had a jigsaw, you get the idea. This is the poor man's DIY way of doing it. And this works for me. So anyways, that was just one other tip. The other thing I did was because I'm using my, the corner of, of my washing machine, which isn't exactly ideal, what I did do was I did tape the seams so that if any sawdust gets in there, it won't get in there because of the tape. This is just regular blue masking tape, which is kind of cheap. You can get this in any hardware store you get the idea anyways i'm cooter malloy there is a subscribe button over here somewhere they keep moving it on youtube please hit that subscribe button i'm really 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 trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the month that would be awesome there's also a like button in here somewhere make sure you hit that like button if you like what you see and you want to see more of it down in the description there down below there's some links to some pretty cool products so make sure to check those out and lastly down in the description there's also a link to my facebook page that's cooter malloy product reviews so make sure you check that out anyways i'm cooter malloy if you have any questions about any of this, comment in the comment section down below and I will catch you all on the next one.